Oh no, Lorex is no more. Well, hold up. That's not the end. It's just that they're taking a... They broke up. Lord DIY and Alex Wasabi have broken up. I feel really bad for them too, because it's obvious that this is really hard for them. You know, a week ago, Alex Wasabi posted a video that he had something that was really hard that he was going through, and you could tell on his face, like, it was really heavy stuff. Uh, he could barely even get through the video from what I could tell. It was just gut-wrenching pain on his face and anybody who's been through a breakup knows that feeling so I guess it shouldn't really be a surprise to us that Lorex is breaking up. That doesn't make it hurt any less though. Two days ago on Lord DIY's channel Lauren and Alex sat down and they explained what happened and it's a mutual breakup. It's something that happens. We'll talk about it a little further. But then yesterday, Alex went and made another video and clarified things a little bit more. We'll talk about that here. I know that any time that two people who are really popular, who have big fan bases, you know, these are people that we love, that we've watched for so long, that we've gotten to know and we feel like we have a close connection with them, when they break up, it hurts. It hurts for us too. <laughs> us behind the camera on the other side. And I just want to acknowledge that pain for anybody who's out there who feels like they got a lot of hope into them as a couple and saw them as couple goals because, as Alex said, sometimes we do that. We see other people and we think like, oh, they're perfect, like that's what I want. So if you're feeling like this is a letdown for you, if you're feeling sad, or if you're feeling hopeless, just remember that they still do love each other and they still might even stay a couple, we don't know. Love is real, hold on to it. Since our emotions can fly high around these kinds of times, I just want to remind everybody that right here, right now, this is a no drama zone. Drama free. Don't bring that drama to my comment section because it won't make it past my moderation. Breakups are always hard and I don't want to make it any harder on anybody else by having fighting and accusations and suspiciousness and all kinds of craziness out there. Let people have their time. You know, Alex and Lauren, they sat down and they explained that they're maybe not going to upload for a little while because this is a hard thing to go through. If you watched Alex's video, then for sure you saw the pain that he was going through. And it may not show up on social media, as Lauren has said. You know, it may, might look happy and it might look like things are going well on social media, but that's just to keep up the positivity in general because they are both positive people. Behind the scenes, it's harder, and I can relate to this because I am a YouTuber myself. Not everything that you see on camera is what everybody's going through, so just be mindful that just because things look okay on the outside, they could be hurting and they may need time to get through everything. So when they sat down together on Lauren's channel, they mentioned that the reason that they were breaking up it wasn't because of anything crazy, there was no cheating going on, there's no other people in their lives. It was basically that they realized that they were heading in different directions. Maybe they have areas that they both need to grow in to make it work better between the two of us because, as they've been saying, if you're not the best version of yourself, if you're not feeling secure and good in yourself, then you can't bring that to a relationship because a relationship is really about two people coming together and making it work in a way that fits for both people. And sometimes as we grow, as we mature, as we learn about ourselves a little bit more, we realize we don't fit so good together right now. And what does that mean? And I guess they sat down and had a conversation and they decided right now, it's not working. So Alex had mentioned how he was going to be moving in with Lauren and now that's not going to happen and I do kind of question maybe that was part of what helped them come to this realization. You know, moving in together is a huge thing and it takes a lot of work, especially when you are two people as big as they are in the public eye. Maybe they had arguments, maybe they realized they didn't see eye to eye on things, you know, we don't know and I don't want to make drama, speculating about everything, but I do know that when we make these big life changes like moving in together, it does bring out new dynamics in the relationship, things that we didn't have to deal with before, and I wonder if maybe that could be what led them to have to sit down and have a conversation about where things are heading. Of course, it could have nothing to do with that at all. I just know that usually when we're making major life changes, we start to see ourselves in different ways or we see our partners in different ways and I'm happy that they actually sat down and had the maturity to talk about it and think things through and you know 
my heart goes out to them that they could actually get on camera together and talk about this and still be so affectionate and loving to each other because that is not easy. I know David and Liza did it earlier this year and they seem to have the same situation going on where they felt like they needed to grow a little bit. It just wasn't the right time. So I, I could never even imagine doing this the way that these people do it. Maybe I'll have to do it sometime in the future, but... I want to give them credit and respect for being able to do that and address everybody when really they didn't even have to. Because as much as they live their lives on camera and we watch them and they share our lives with us, they don't really owe us every little detail of everything and they don't have to let us know what's going on. I think, yeah, it's, it's good that they let us know that they were breaking up, but they don't have to go much further than that. And so to get on camera together, which might have been really difficult for them. I just think that was very generous of them, and I appreciate that they could do it in such a loving way. That just is a testament to how much they cared for each other. Breaking up on social media is hard, and my channel has actually been focused on breaking up for a while now, and I was actually just getting back from doing a video about living with somebody when you're going through a breakup and then I came home and saw that this was going on because I'm not so into everything that's going on on YouTube but this caught my eye and I thought oh no that's terrible and I was just thinking about all of this stuff and I wanted to jump in and talk about it a little bit. So breaking up when we live in this world of social media is not easy because we have the way that we present ourselves to everybody and we don't want to bring people down necessarily and we don't want to get caught up in the drama which is why I said I want this to be a drama free video and both of them have made very clear that there is no hate between each other and they don't want rumors flying around and they don't want like one fan base getting angry at the other fan base or anything that it's just a breakup you know breakups hurt and breakups suck but on social media in particular, we we don't always get to show everything that we're going through because people will be upset, people will be disappointed, and we don't want to make them any more upset than they need to be. So I think it's important that we recognize that they both have said that they need some time off. I think Lauren said two weeks, Alex said a week. I'm not really sure. You can go back to their videos and watch. I'll link to their videos. But yeah, it takes a while to get over a breakup. Even if you're still going to remain friendly and talk to each other like it seems like they're going to, you usually still need to take some time to be alone. Alex had mentioned that he needs to find new plans now and a new place to stay because he was planning to move in with Lauren. So that's tough. That's going to take some time. And these are the realities of breakups that we don't always think about or we don't always talk about because there's the emotional pain which takes a long time to work through, especially with a relationship like this. Um, and especially if they're going to try to stay friendly and figuring out what's going on next, it can get very confusing and it can get hard. And I think we should give them the time to work things out and figure that out for themselves. But there's also the very practical stuff, like Alex has to figure out where he's going to live and they have to maybe change some plans that they had before and they have to figure out for themselves what does it mean to grow because they both re obviously recognized that there was something that's not going to work or wasn't working in this relationship and now that they know what that is they can go ahead on their own as individuals and work on that so that if they do decide to get back together later they can be there for each other in a way that they aren't right now. I just love that they're being so kind to each other and they're being affectionate and they're trying to keep it on positive terms and they're also trying to let everybody else know what's going on so that it's not a big shock and surprise. So Lorex may be breaking up but Lorex is not dead and I hope in the future we see that from here things get a lot better for the both of them. Maybe they get back together, we don't know, but this obviously was a decision that they took some time to make and I think it's good that they made the decision together and I hope we see a beautiful future for both of them. It's hard to watch other people break up but let's try to keep things positive here. Let me know some things about Lorex that you've loved. Leave that down below in the comments and let's talk about that.